Hey there. Well, I'm doing a lot better than I was uh, in the last video. That was a nice vent. It was good to get that out of my system. I felt a lot better after I did that, actually. So. What I want to talk about here, though, is... For me, it's depressing. And it's... The destruction that the social Marxism, other fields phobia, SJW, uh, intersectional third wave feminism uh, mindset, the damage that it has done to gay men. And the reason why it's so significant is because gay men used to be able to count on the left being supportive. Now we've we've been thrown under the bus by the um, regressive social Marxist SJW intersectional third wave feminist movement. We've been thrown under the bus. We don't rank high enough on the opp oppression Olympics, and now we're shitlords. We must hold their pet issues up high on a pedestal. Or we're shitlords. Kind of blackmail. And so we we we've been thrown under the bus by the left, and we still don't really we still don't have support from the religious right. When I say the religious right, that that's those are Republicans. The Republican Party is the party of the religious right. So we get the shit in from, from the religious right. We get the shit in from the progressive left now. And we don't have a support group for ourselves anymore because we let the, we let the regressive social Marxist SJW uh, intersectional third wave feminist movement take it over. And there's still tons and tons and tons and tons of gay men who are still in denial of what has actually happened. Or they're not even, they may not have been paying attention. They may have a really good life that allows them to focus on completely different things and they don't even uh, look at social media other than to post pictures of their cats or of Republican politicians they don't like. So... or to prop Hillary high up on some pedestal because they still seem very unaware of forces that are actually against their own interests. See, right now gay men have the shit end of, of two sticks. If you're a straight, white, cisgendered male, you can still very, very easily get support from the religious right. You don't have to be religious, but you, you know, if you tout things that are traditional values, yeah, you, you get support from, from the whole right. Gay men don't have that. Gay men don't have a side that actually really supports them anymore. It's like after gay marriage was legalized, well, you guys aren't, you you have nothing, you, you're not suppressed at all anymore. You're not oppressed at all anymore. So now you're just shitlords. What do you do? What do you do when you're a gay man? I'm wondering what's going to happen once more gay men realize that they've been thrown under the bus. What's going to be the reaction? There's going to be much of one anyway. But the this whole social Marxist, SJW, other fields phobia... Uh, intersectional third wave feminist mindset leaves a path of destruction everywhere it turns every movement it touches into shit 
and every movement it touches, the religious right now views as being part of that social Marxist, uh, SJW, other fields phobia, uh, intersectional third wave feminist mindset. If you're gay, you must be part of that mindset. If you're a woman, well, now, you know, and you're, you're not a religious person, well, you must be part of that mindset. This is the other damn, this is the other thing that's so bad about them taking over these, the, the, all these different movements. This is what's so bad about it. This is what's so bad about how communicable this SJW disease is. So all the right has to do is point their finger over here and say, well, look at, uh, look what we're up against. <sighs> we're watching this huge influx of, of religious fundamentalist ideals making their way into the government. And now we're seeing a, re a resurgence of a nationalism, a resurgence in real, real, real racism. We're seeing a resurgence in real homophobia, real sexism, real transphobia, real xenophobia, a resurgence of all these things. Because look what we're up against. So part of me, you know, has this hope, and I've said this before, but I want to reiterate. Part of me has a hope that if Trump becomes president, that it's going to be something that kicks this whole regressive left thing in the ass. Because, oh, we actually have something real to worry about now. What else is going to get people out of this mindset? Are we going to have to be, is there going to have to be a war on our soil? Does there have to be concentration camps or some shit for, for people to think about something different? Or will just, will just, will the fear of a president, we have no idea what uh, he stands for and no idea what uh, policies he was going to want to shove forth and this feeling like we're in the middle of Russian roulette, will that be what gets us out of this mindset? This is such a pivotal period in this country's history. And I'll, I'll, I'll say it, it, it's, it's affecting more than just the United States. So, but I can't make that kind of statement about a lot of Europe because they have a much more rich history than the United States. The United States is actually a pretty young country, so. Putting the cunt back in country. Okay, anyway. 